hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step so first thing first we have to clean this portrait so go to actions click clean and click play after you click on the clean action it comes a clean layer which is a background but duplicated and renamed in clean and the black and white help layer which is gonna help us uh, for some details so first thing first i think that i should start clean this image on the forehead for cleaning i will use three tools spot healing brush healing brush and patch tool as you can see i have made them with shortcuts uh, and keyboards which is for spot healing brush is j link brush is k and patch tool is l if you want to do that same thing you have to go to edit go to toolbar and you have to find the tools as you can see i have made a group of spot healing brush healing brush and patch tool and just click on them and rename with them a keyword you want to use for example i renamed them with j k and l which i can switch between them very fast so let's just get started and as you can see i am using spot healing brush but i will switch uh, between them with keyboard and we are starting to clean the forehead because i think this is the easiest way to retouch for example when you are we are when we are doing the clean uh I think the forehead should be first it's not necessary but for my opinion i think that i should start on the forehead for example this part i'm just gonna leave it for later because i will uh, remove that in frequency operation in which i will clean the skin first and after i will do that on texture in which that part uh, I will leave I will leave no mark because if I do that with spot healing brush sometimes it creates some blurry marks so I'm just gonna leave it for later in the frequency separation uh, be careful when you are cleaning because we don't want to destroy that texture uh, because it will be harder to edit because when we do cleaning it's more like 50% of the whole work we do on the retouch so if your cleaning is good then you will have no problem in other steps in the frequency separation part or the touch and burn depends on the technique you are working so i will suggest you cleaning first and after you do that you can use frequency separation or dodge and burn technique it doesn't matter which one you are using just in the beginning you have to clean it and your work will be faster because when you do the clean which is the most part of the retouch then all you have to do is dodge and burn or use frequency separation as you can see before and after we have cleaned some pimples and i think that now time is to clean this uh, play, place where we should clean the hair which is looking not that good so I'm just gonna use a pen tool because I will create a, a path here because I want to clean the hair and I will make a selection around the head around here so I think this one is good because I don't want to touch this part I want to leave it kind of naturally 
after you have done with a path, so make a selection. And for other radius, I think I have to go with two. And after I do that, I click on mixer brush and opposite of, oh, sorry, mixer brush, not brush. I go with wet 100 and flow 100. And I will start cleaning that here. This is the technique I use for cleaning the hair when the background is solid, as you can see. And when it's kind of a messy background with a... When the picture is not in studio, I guess it will be harder for cleaning. So for the solid backgrounds, like this one, I would suggest use this technique. Because you will work it faster. You can see before and after, let's just zoom out and yeah, I think it's looking really nice. After I do cleaning and the pimples, I think that I have to create another selection here in the nose hole because I want to clean the hair here. So I'm just gonna make a selection with radius 0.5 I guess and copy the color which is kind of black use brush and just paint it over there let's just zoom out and i guess it's looking nice uh, i will use spotting brush in this part because there is no that much so i think it's okay I'll just check before and after and I think that I will create another uh, layer mask here just because I want to uh, reduce that black so it will look more naturally and I guess it's looking good. I'm just gonna merge the clean with background so hold control key click on background right click and merge layers. After I do that, I will duplicate it again and this time I will liquefy some parts, so go filter and liquefy. After I do that, click here, which is forward warp tool and start making some changes if you think that is necessary. If not, then just leave it like it is because not every time uh, it's necessary to use liquify but for, for my opinion I think this time I should use it because I want to reshape the head or this part for example only if you think it's necessary or how you like it but use it uh, till it's looking good not for example reshaping the head or the face or the nose or something like that because it will make another person for example the model will not look the same and click ok let's just check before and after and yeah i guess it's looking really nice so i will merge them both control hold it hold the control Right click and merge layers. After you do that, I'll just check before and after. And now it's time for a frequency separation. Click on FS Plus, click play. Let's just zoom out again and go to radius 0.1. Zoom into the pores or the texture and slide it right uh, till the the texture disappears and I think oops sorry 12 would be good click ok after you do that open a group go to low frequency copy remove the eye from the height of frequency zoom in a little bit and use mixer brush for the wet I go by by 10 and for the load I go 22, mix uh, 40, 
and for the flow I go between 20 and 30 so I would go like 25 and start mixing the skin tones usually I uh, start working with mixer brush on this part which is forehead everything in my retouching tutorials it start with the forehead I don't know why but I work that way and if you think that you should start somewhere then just do it because there is no rules on retouch I mean like there is no limits on how you retouch or what you do in the Photoshop, so don't worry about it. Just go for it um, until you make some good retouching result. Because if you destroy the texture of a portrait. then the results will not be that good so be careful on the internet because you can watch some bad tutorials for example when they make the whole face blurry when they ruin the texture your portraits are gonna look like i don't know how to describe it because I have seen like a lot of bad portraits I mean like no not bad portraits I have seen a lot of bad retouching into there some good old portraits and talking about some groups about retouching where people pose before and after and be careful what you watch on the YouTube because not every time there are good tutorials let's just check before and after and turn on the black and white which is a health layer let's just check before and after and continue working oops sorry as you can see i'm working on this part and i'm not doing anything so be careful when you work because you can switch on the layers and you will have you will have no results or uh, you will do something bad and you will not know what you have done so be careful when you're working uh, because you can switch between layers with shortcuts and that's not a good thing because you can do something wrong in that portrait and you don't want to start over and over again just because he wasn't paying att attention to the file to the layers like I did but be careful in that part let's just check out on this part of the neck and I think it's looking good I'm just gonna work on this part a little bit because I don't want to remove the shadows from the neck because sometimes I do that and I completely destroy the shadows so be careful when you're working on this part on the neck on the chest on the body uh, because on the, on the face for example the makeup can be uh, a little bit too much and people will not notice that you have done a lot of retouching but if you do that on the neck or on chest or the body people will notice that you have done something too much just check before and after and yes you can see now it's a little bit too much so I'm just gonna reduce the shadows here for the opinion uh, I'm using the Vacom into a Pro S. I'm not using a mouse. So if you wanna have a better and faster workflow on retouching, I would highly suggest you 
we'll go buy a pen tablet uh, for example the uh, vacuum tools pro or not pro i don't know but just use a pen because when you use that your work will go faster and it would be better than the mouse let's just check before and after and yeah i guess it's looking good now for the low frequency i think we are done i'm just gonna go to high frequency zoom in and use clone stamp tool zoom in a little bit and make a smaller brush click alt or copy and start removing the start cleaning on the texture in this part you have to be careful because you don't want to destroy the texture on some parts you have to copy paste the texture uh, for example if you copy here and you paste it here as you can see we are creating a bad texture and we don't want to do that so be careful by copy pasting it do that really really carefully because you can destroy it and you have to be slower on this part because if we ruin that texture then the portrait will look horrible so be careful It's not that I clean that much with clone stamp tool because I do that on the clean part which was with spot healing brush, healing brush and patch tool so that's why I said on the beginning when you when you are done on cleaning with them tools then you have less work on this part of the retouch so be careful and i think that i have to clean this part too because when you zoom out it's not looking that good because you have to zoom in and zoom out every time if you want to see the better details or if you don't want to zoom in and zoom out every time you can go here window arrange new window uh, go again to window arrange and two up vertical close this one click on this window and make a smaller window for example this one is good zoom out until you have it on the center and work on this part and you have to watch here and work here so you don't have to zoom in and zoom out every time this one goes for dodging and burning so we'll have uh, some better results by watching here and working here for example i have to work here i just watch it over here and work on this window and yeah i think that i'm creating some good results for example i'm ruining this part but i will fix it with some good texture and yeah i guess it's looking good let's just zoom out and i think this one has to be done as you can see over here and we have it a little bit here and i think it's looking good yeah of course because we are not zooming in and zooming out every time but if you don't do that with two windows you have to zoom in and zoom out not every time but you have to check on the details from above because we want to make it look good i mean like when we zoom out it's more like a 
when we are watching the portrait on a phone when it's posted on social media so this is the reason why you have to zoom out every time to check on the details I mean like not that the details I'm working here are gonna show in social media because like quality of image will be reduced so no one on Instagram Facebook Pinterest I guess would would zoom in to check on some details for example you post the picture on the Behance Behance is a website for showing your portfolio of your work so you can post there with high quality and if you post them in Behance you have to work closely on the details because on the Behance you can upload the high quality image and they can zoom in and you, they can see the details and let's just check before and after I guess it's looking good I just clean this part too and I guess we are good let's just zoom out when you're done with a low frequency and high frequency uh, we have to go with work with legend burn but first we have to save this PSD file because we can lose the electricity and the work will not be saved go to actions again click on dodge close this one click on dodge click on burn and click on the ice plus all in which is an action we are gonna work in the eyes and you can click on the rose lips and cheeks also click on the white and brighten teeth and Turn on the black and white help layer, go to dodge, click B for brush with a brush of 10% of opacity and 100 or maybe 15 of flow and you can start dodging. Dodge is for the highlights. If you don't know, for example, you have to dodge on the parts that have highlights for example on the forehead uh, this part on the nose eyes maybe a little bit to the hair let's just check before and after and I guess it's looking good let's just remove this window because we are gonna need to zoom in and zoom out on this part because we are dodging in the macro part which is a zoom out and micro is when you work on this for example in the, in the details with dodge so for the moment we are working in the zoom out I just zoom out a little dodge this part I just turn on the black and white which is gonna help us see where we have to dodge let's just check before and after and yeah I guess it's looking really nice just turn off the black and white again let's just check before and after this whole process and yeah I guess it's looking good let's just dodge a little bit on this part of the lips a little bit to the eyes and I guess it's looking good now start working on the burn for this part uh, usually I burn the cheeks uh, to make the contours of the makeup looking really nice I do that in this part of the neck too because I just wanna create more depth of 
this portrait and I guess it's looking good let's just reduce the opacity of the burn so let's just burn a little bit on the eyebrows and I guess it's looking good let's just check before and after again on the bur dodge sorry I think it's too much so I'm just gonna lower the opacity of this and I think that we are done with the burn too just a little bit more here and I guess it's okay now it's part for the eyes I'm just gonna zoom in open group of the eyes it's plus sorry and work with the brush of 100 uh, remove veins is when we want to remove the veins in the white of the eyes so I'm just gonna paint it over there and I think it's too much but you have to reduce the opacity now go to brightening brightening is for brightening as you can see it's for the white part and now I think it's too much so reduce the opacity of this to 50% something like that uh, this one is sorry eyeball brightening uh, this one is for the eyeballs so I'm just gonna paint it over there <coughs> and of course if you think it's too much reduce the opacity go to iris contour this part is for the contour of the iris which is the shadows inside the iris and let's just check before and after this one yeah, I think it's good. We'll just reduce the opacity. And this one, iris color is if you want to change the color of the iris. I'm just going to show you. Because I, I don't use it, but sometimes you can change the colors of the eyes. For example, from green, kind of into yellow, you can uh, turn them into blue. If you want to change the color of the eyes, you can double click here. And you can start moving around this slider of the hue and you will change the color. But for my opinion, I just want to leave the color into the original. And this one is looking too much, I guess. I'm just going to reduce the opacity of it. And let's just check before and after. And I guess it's again too much. So I'm just going to reduce the group opacity and let's just check before and after and i guess it's looking good just because of this part and i think that i have to work in the brightening part and into the removing veins and i guess it's okay if not we are just gonna use this layer and I guess it's okay let's just zoom in I mean zoom out sorry sometime my English can fall out because I am not from England or USA so uh, I'm from Kosovo and English is my secondary language so let me know in the comments if I am understandable please just let me know and I think that I'm gonna work on this part of the eye I'm just gonna create uh, sorry this white and uh, layer is for the white and brightened teeth I don't know how it come here I'm just gonna create another empty layer blending mode from normal to soft light and click on I for copy the color of this part and I think it's a little blacker I guess something like that Click B for brush and start painting this line. This is a makeup line which the makeup artist has done and I think it's looking really nice. I'm just gonna make it a little bit blacker. Let's just zoom out and yeah, I think it's looking good or just reduce the opacity. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do is create another empty layer 
switch from uh, normal to soft light again zoom in and copy this color for example that is kind of yellow into brown something like that and B for brush again and start painting just make a bigger brush because we have some color here and I'm just gonna make it a little bit stronger because why not let's just check before and after and yeah I think it's looking really nice uh, after you do that create another empty layer blending mode from normal to screen which is more like a dodge but with color and start painting on the this part let's just zoom out check before and after and yeah it's looking really nice uh, but we have to reduce the opacity of this uh, I guess 25 would be good yeah it's looking nice I just check before and after this whole process so every time when you do a lot of work don't forget to save click on save every time because you can lose the electricity and how to save sometimes can fall out and I think this part of the upper lips needs to be with another color uh, so I'm just gonna create another empty layer and copy the color which is kind of light skin tone I guess click B for brush and start working uh, until it disappears I guess and don't put that much color because we can ruin the skin color and we don't want to do that so I think it's looking good yeah obviously do that on this part just copy the color that is here and start painting uh, until I think it's disappeared so let us check before and after yeah I guess it's looking good for this part of the lip I think that we have to recreate the colors and I'm just gonna paint it on this part of the inside lip I guess we have to work a little bit uh, this is more like a issue of the makeup artist but not just to the makeup artist because when you open and close your mouth sometimes the color can lose the as you can see we are just creating some colors into the lips as you can see before and after I think that I have put more color here because I think the lip is not looking that good let's just check before and after and I think that I have to work on the texture here so just click on the clone stamp tool and start working on this part of the lip just be careful because you don't wanna have some bad texture here and I think it's looking really nice yeah obviously so I'm just gonna go back to the rose lips and click B for brush with a hundred percent of opacity and I'm just gonna paint it on the lips I want to make them a little bit into the red this is a nice action for the lips you can check the before and after every time and I think that lips need a little bit of the dodge and burn itself so just create two empty layers uh, this one blending mode to normal to screen and this one from normal to multiply the screen is for the dodge just zoom in copy a color of the lips click B for brush and start dodging this part we don't want to dodge with the groups because it's gonna lose the color so when we dodge in this technique we have the same colors uh, click on this empty layer 
which is multiply which is for the burn burn with the color of the lips so I'm just gonna burn a little not that much because it's not that needs that too much burn just zoom out check before and after I guess it's looking good and create a group click shift hold it and click on the rose lips and make a group rename it lips let's just check before and after and if you think that is too much you can always lower the opacity of it and check before and after I guess looking good now go back to the teeth uh, which is this uh, group white and brighten teeth Click B for brush with a 100 brush uh, on this portrait. The mouth is kind of closed, so we don't have to work that much on the teeth. So I'm just gonna work on what we have here. Let's just check before and after. And as you can see, it's too much. So lower the opacity of it. And I guess it's looking good. Let's just check before and after this whole process. Yeah, I guess looking really nice. Now we have the rosy cheeks. This is not a necessary part, so if you want to work on the cheeks, you can do it. If you don't, just delete the layer and you don't have to worry about it. But I would suggest you to work on the rosy cheeks because this is more like a makeup artist would do. And as you can see, the opposite was 45 and I guess 38 would be good. Let's just check before and after. And yeah, I think it's looking really nice. So I'm just gonna create another background copy layer. Hold shift and click here, make a group and rename it retouch. After you do that, uh, duplicate the group, merge the group and you can see before and after of what you have done here and I think that you have to clean this part because it's what was on the lens of the photographer and yeah I think it's looking really nice don't forget to save it and Click on Control, click on A, click Control, click C for copy, File, New, and I think this one is not the right. Oh, I'm just gonna delete this one. Uh, click again, Control A, Control C, click on the file, New, and click what's going on. I don't know. Let's just Control and A. Click on edit. Oops, sorry, we have we have, we have been copying the group, so you can copy the group. So just click again Ctrl A and edit, copy, go to file new and create. So we have created another size for the portrait. So now it's time for the uh, color grade. Go to actions and find the color grade white skin and click on the color grade actions until you find the right action to work I mean like when you find the best color grade use that and I think this one is looking really nice but I will combine two to three color grades so I'm just gonna drag and drop the group and till I find the next color grade this one and the two of them are for black and white if you want to turn the portrait into black and white you can find the actions down below in the links um, I have just created another retouching product which is 14 
actions and you can buy them in my gumroad account uh, i have included the color grade white skin dark skin and retouching full pack you can find the link down below so don't forget to check the links always because that's where i put my retouching actions and you can buy them let's just check the all layers one by one uh, until we find the right color grade and let's just turn on let's just turn them on one by one and i think this one is too much i guess it's a black and white background copy 10% would be okay and selective color I think it's too much so don't forget to sorry to check them one by one until you find the right color grade and as you can see this one is too much as a group so reduce the opacity of it to 50% and go to the next one click on them one by one as I said before in the previous group so I guess this one is too much as you can see and I think that opacity should be down a little bit and this one is the right one I guess as you can see 30 I guess would be okay go to color balance and this one is too much always lower the opacity of it until you find the right color grade this one is for the shadows as you can see and i think it's looking really nice close this group and you can add some extra adjustments so i'm just gonna add two, two color balances duplicate this one go to the first one and select into the soft light as you can see it has created the some another effect so i think that opacity of it should be around 20 double click go to highlights and make the highlights kind of red into yellow and i think it's looking really nice double click on this one go to midtones and slide the cyan into the red and yellow kind of something like that as you can see let's just check before and after and yeah it's too much but i will duplicate this one turn off the duplicated one and go from normal mode to screen and make the opacity of this by 10 uh, turn on this one make the opacity of it by 40 50 something like that uh, go to filter or photo filter sorry and the density of this duplicate this one turn on the duplicate one and from blending mode go to color so we want to create another kind of into yellow but not that much and this one into normal mode by five percent and go to selective color click on yellows and work with the sign magenta and yellow until you find the right tones so i think that this one is looking good but not that much always reduce the opacity of it uh, delete this black and white one which was from previous click on uh, black and white from blending mode to luminosity and slide them down because we want to create some nice shadows and i guess 10 is good as you checked before for this whole process and right uh, click on the retouch copy duplicate click on shift and click here make a group rename it color grade just check before and after i think that i have to put some face contouring here because 
I like the contours, so I'm just gonna reduce the highlights. I think something like that. Reduce the opacity of this to 50%. Put them into the group. And as you can see, we have the color graded. So duplicate the color grid and merge the group. With, because we wanna check before and after in the faster way because in the group uh, the computer will take more CPU and it will make the process slower so I'm just gonna check before and after this whole process this is before this is after on the retouch let's just zoom in before and after let's just check color grade uh, before after before and after so this is it for today guys uh, i think that we have done something amazing here and please don't forget to leave a comment down below about my retouching and don't forget to let me know if i am understandable if my english is good uh, if you want to get my actions don't forget to check the links down below as I said before, I have created the latest action, uh, which is including the retouching action full pack, uh, the actions that we have used today. Also, you have the color grade white skin and color grade dark skin, which is for the white skin tones and dark skin tones. Uh, if you didn't subscribe already, please subscribe it. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below also click like and turn on the notification ring the bell i don't know do everything don't forget to subscribe me on social media because that's where you can get my latest uh, post that i have made i mean like for a touch uh, photography everything so don't forget to check all the links down below and see you guys in the next one. Peace.